This is the second of two screencasts that cover Module 4, Lesson 7. This one works uh, through the word problems in the practice set, but it also addresses some of the issues with the homework as well. We're not going to give you the answers to the homework, but we will give you some guidance in solving them. Okay, all these problems, they tell us to use a tape diagram to solve. So we'll create a tape diagram after reading this. So it's the read, draw, write protocol. There are 48 students going on a field trip. One-fourth are girls. How many boys are going on the trip? All right, tape diagram. Our whole is 48. And we partition it into four equal parts. And we can bracket off, or we could even put a G in the square. This is uh, the girls. And we could also just do this girls, and this would be the boys. So we want to know how many boys are going on the field trip. Well, we know that four units equals 48. We want to find one unit. equals 48 divided by 4 equals 12. So each one of these units is 12. Well, we want to know how many boys, and there's 1, 2, 3 units of boys. So we continue. 3 units equals 3 times 12 equals 36. And we'd write the statement, 36 boys are going on the field trip. All right, this is fairly complex. Three angles are labeled below with arcs. The smallest angle is 3 eighths as large as the 160 degree angle. Find the value of angle A. The first thing we need to know is that the total number of degrees around this point right here would be 360 degrees. So the whole is 360, but we need to do a little bit of work before we get there. Let's look at the second sentence here. The smallest angle is 3 eighths as large as the 160 degree angle. Let's break down that part first. So we have the 160 degree angle. That number of degrees will be our whole. We need to partition that into 8 equal parts. We'll bracket 3 because it's 3 eighths as large. That'll give us our second angle, the smallest one, which is right here. So I have 8 units equals 160. 1 unit equals 160 divided by 8, and that is 20. But we need to find 3 units. That would be 3 times 20, and the answer would be 60. So this angle here is 60 degrees. We'll make another tape diagram. We know that the whole is going to be 360. We know that one of these is 160, and the other is 60. And this is a question mark, and that will be the measure of uh, angle A. This tape diagram tells us to find the sum of 160 and 60 and subtract it from 360. We'll represent the expression this way. 360 minus the sum of 160 plus 60. Simplify the expression in the parentheses. We get 220. And this is a pretty easy one to subtract. We don't have to do any regrouping we have 140. So angle A equals 140 degrees. Again, let's read. Abby spent 5 eighths of her money and saved the rest. If she spent $45, how much money did she have at first? Let's make our tape diagram. 
This is kind of like the last uh, couple of problems that we saw in the previous uh, presentation or screencast on uh, just simply solving and modeling. We don't know the whole. That's how much money she had at first. But we do know that we are going to partition this into eight equal parts because 5 eighths has a denominator of eight. So we had 5 eighths was spent and she saved the rest. We know that this equals 45. Let's go through our process. We know that 5 units equals 45. 1 unit equals 45 divided by 5 equals 9. Now we need to find 8 units. So that's 8 times 1 unit, or 8 times 9, and that's 72. So she had $72 at first, and again we would write a statement. Let's read this one. Mrs. Harrison used 16 ounces of dark chocolate while baking. She used two-fifths of the chocolate to make some frosting and used the rest to make brownies. How much chocolate did Mrs. Harrison use, or how much more chocolate did Mrs. Harrison use than in the frosting? So we're going to start with fractional parts and go on to working with actual numbers to subtract here in terms of ounces. We know that the whole is 16 ounces. We're going to partition this into five equal parts. So some were used for frosting, two-fifths. And the rest were for brownies. How much more chocolate did Mrs. Mrs. Harrison use in the brownies and the frosting? There's a couple of ways we can go at this. First of all, we're going to start with five units equals 16. One unit equals 16 divided by 5, and that's the same as 16 fifths which is 3 and 1 fifth. Now, we could do some calculation here. I could find my 3 units, right? 3 units equals 3 times 3 and 1 fifth, and that equals 9 and 3 fifths. And we could again find that for the frosting, 2 units equals 2 times 3 and 1 fifth equals 6 and 2 fifths. Now we could do that, but if we really can skip this step because we know that 3 units minus 2 units is 1 unit, and we know that 1 unit is 3 and 1 fifth, and that's what we'd get if we'd subtract these two values, but we could skip this step. 9 and 3 fifths minus 6 and 2 fifths equals 3 and 1 fifth. So again, just doing a little thinking here, we know that that 3, again, 3 units is 1 greater than 2 units, and we could have stopped right there. And you can do the same with uh, one of the problems you're going to have in your homework as well. Okay, this is homework, and I'm just going to discuss it with you here. It's a little less complex than the one in the problem set, but the one thing we need to know is that the sum of the angles on a straight angle is 180 degrees. So that's going to be our whole here. We know that this is 1 -sixth. We can easily figure out that what, what that is. We can use a tape diagram, but again, the whole is going to be 180. This problem is very similar to the last one we did in the problem set. We have fractional parts, and we have the ounces, and I'll, I'll get you started. We'll make our tape diagram. 
Annabelle Merrick made 17 ounces of pizza dough. They used 5 eighths for pizza and the rest for the calzones. Again, we're going to partition this and you could write uh, pizza on five of these calzones on three. Now we know that we have three units and we have uh, five units here. We can calculate the number of ounces with each unit using our progression. Remember, uh, eight units equals 17. Find the one unit. Then we can find the five units for the pizza and the three units for the calzones. Or we could find the number of units that represents the difference between the number of units of pizza and calzone and save a little work. The New York Rangers won three-fourths of their hockey uh, games last uh, season. They lost 21 games. How many games did they play the entire season? We don't know the whole. And again, that should look familiar. We have the parts. One, one, one lost. We know that that is 21, and you should be able to work it from there. We have one unit is 21. How many units are there in all for the entire season?